Welcome to my new series called Ecom SEO Manifesto. This is my guide to internal link building, all right, specifically for e-commerce websites. When it comes to link links and SEO, all people ever talk about is backlinks, and obviously they should. Backlinks are the only way to compete in a lot of niches. Because everyone's so focused on backlinks, a lot of people end up neglecting internal link building, and as a result, they're missing out on a ton of traffic and revenue. So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you why you should care about internal link building, and I'll show you the frameworks I've used to increase literally dozens of organic brands search revenue with this framework. The internet is a series of content and links. A famous quote by yours truly, my newsletter subscribers literally tore me to pieces for simplifying SEO down to just this, but honestly, I believe it. In all seriousness, once you realize this, your proficiency as an SEO will 100x probably more. Everyone talks about in backlinks, you know, DA versus DR, do follow versus no follow, guest posts versus niche edits, tiered link building versus not, and all the other nuances that go along with backlink building, okay? Um, while they're doing this, you should focus on internal link building. And I'm gonna tell you why. Internal links do the exact same thing that backlinks do. They pass value and help Google crawl your site. They are significantly cheaper than almost all the backlinks you will ever build because they are free because you own the website. You are also in 100% control of building them. You don't have to pay a PayPal invoice or wait for another webmaster to publish your guest post or link. You you can direct them at any page you want. You shouldn't. I'm going to show you which pages to direct them at. Do they work as well? For the sake of argument, I will assume that the owner of Forbes.com is not watching this video or another DR80 website. If that's the case, shoot me a DM. I would like to buy a link from you. Do they work as well as backlinks? Um, yes, no question about it. However, as always the case with SEO, <laughs> it depends. They're not all equal. 99% of the internal links on Forbes are more valuable than any internal link you could build on your own website. That is just the reality of it. That website is far more valuable than yours as a whole. An internal link from your highest traffic page is far more valuable than an internal link from pages that don't get any traffic. Keep that in mind for later. Anchor usage and variation directly impacts the effectiveness of your internal links. Also keep that in mind for later. There are more nuances that we'll get into later on. 12 of them specifically. But let me share two extremely short stories about internal linking and how valuable it is. One of my first e-commerce freelance clients had a $750 budget. This left me $0 to build any backlinks, right? I was literally trying to pay rent with this and a few other clients, okay? I had to be overwhelmingly effective at leveraging content and internal links in order to make him some money. Below is a screenshot from Search Console in our first 10 months of working together. I still have access to that. I don't have access to the revenue part for GA4, but I can tell you not a single backlink was built in this entire time, not one. At least we didn't build it. We got a few organically flowing in. But all of this was a direct result of my content and internal linking strategy, which again, I'm going to get to. It works. This is proof. I got one more example that's more proof, but this was all human written content back. This was a couple years ago. Honestly, simpler times. Pretty fun project and uh, kind of a nostalgic one for me. Now, here's another example. In the first 30 days of a campaign with brand we work with currently, moved 123 keywords into the number one spot in the first 30 days, I think, of working, or 40 days of working together. All we did was build internal links and create topical blog content. That's it. And if you want to read this thread, I break down the whole thing, click on it in the doc, and you can read it there. These are two of the purest examples I have that demonstrate how good internal linking really is. Again, no backlinks are built in either of these cases. So we do, of course, leverage internal links for all of our agency brands, and we also build a ton of backlinks, right? In these two cases, no links had been built up to this point, right? In the first example, the zero to 10,000 a month one, I didn't build any links. I didn't have the budget for it. In the second one, we had about 40 days to start with all these results. We didn't actually launch cold email campaigns for link building until about day 30, and we hadn't actually got any links built at day 40 yet. So again, all these results were the product of purely internal links and blog content. These two examples are again, very pure because if you factor in the volume of backlinks that we also build for all of our other clients, it's difficult to quantify which types of links, internal versus backlinks, had more or less value. Onto the crash course that is my stupid simple internal link building ideology. It's meant to create results without confusing the shit out of you, truthfully. I'm a self-taught SEO, YouTube, blogs, Reddit forums, things like that, right? Didn't pay a single dollar for a course, just kept crawling the internet for information and testing it. I don't know if any of these blogs or YouTube videos were just gatekeeping their internal link strategy, or they just were unable to communicate it. I truthfully did, it took me like probably a year and a half to figure out how this worked. If you're a self-taught or even in, if you've bought a course, you've probably seen the phrase, just build internal links before. They never showed you how, they just said build them. I finally cracked the code, right? I think it was a year and a half after I started SEO and I will not gatekeep this framework. But first, before we get into that last thing, promise, you need to drill this simple ideology into your head. It's going to simplify the entire framework and help you make faster sense of it. In e-commerce SEO, your North Star goal is increasing your organic search revenue. Organic traffic is a vanity metric, does not help you make money in most cases. Organic search revenue is your number one goal that you're chasing, right? That is different from local, like where you're trying to get more leads or from SaaS, where you're trying to get more like signups or trials. Ecom SEO is different. Organic revenue is your leading metric. You are not here to make money. You're not here to watch the Ahrefs traffic graph grow. You've invested dozens of hours in your brand's SEO, maybe even paid someone or bought a course. I'll ask you, 
do you want to make more money or increase your traffic? This is why the internal link strategy matters, okay? Because internal links are all going to flow down to the making money pages, okay? All right, here we go. This is the premise of, of the ideology, the framework. Build internal links down the funnel, top to middle to bottom, okay? Do not build them in reverse up the funnel from bottom to middle to top. There are nuances, which I'm going to get to in a minute, but the overarching premise is that you want to build them down the funnel because at the end of the day, you'll have more links at the bottom of funnel pages. You can also build them laterally, which I'll get to later on. Let's just walk through a quick example of why this is the case, okay? We'll start with the consumer psychology part, and then we'll get into why it works for Google search. Let's say a customer found you on Google, made their way to the product page, and even better, they're ready to buy, right? Congrats to you. Maybe they even added it to their cart. You were told to build internal links and you didn't think about how links were connected across your whole site. Maybe you even built a link to a blog post in your product description and it says, you know, the benefits of a certain product. They click it to learn more and now they're on a blog post and you've probably lost them. They are now up and they have moved up a funnel stage. They're already on your product page or added it to their cart if you were lucky. They'd already made their buying decision. They knew the benefits, they weighed it, they weighed your price point, reviews, all that stuff, and they said, okay, I'm gonna get this one. Then they saw a link and it's like, well, now I'm back in the consideration phase. And maybe your blog has you know, a sentence or two or something that makes them want to keep shopping, which means probably not with you. When someone reaches a product or a collection page on your site, your sole function is to move them closer to purchasing. If you build an internal link to a blog that you may think is helpful, you've actually done the opposite and you've probably lost customer. Now, onto the search side of things, outside of consumer psychology. This is where people actually start to go wrong, right? I said, you know, people tell you to just build internal links, but they don't say how. They build internal links in every which direction across their site because it helps Google understand the site better. Wrong. You don't want to help Google understand. You don't. You want to tell Google, hey, this is what we're doing and you better get on board. Okay, and that is how internal linking, that is the other thing you need to drill into your head, right? You tell Google what to do, not the other way around. If you build back links back and forth between top, middle, bottom of funnel, you're going to confuse Google. Because if you have links pointing in every direction, it will have no idea which pages on your site are most important. And as a result, it'll either rank the wrong pages or it'll rank no pages. This happens all the time when people build, like people target a product page and a blog post with the same keyword and they link between them all, right? You essentially create a keyword cannibalization issue as well. And that's not gonna help you make money, obviously. As I kind of hinted at earlier, if you build links always down the funnel, your bottom of funnel pages, so money pages, collections, it's like collections products, are going to have more links pointing at them than any blog post or top of funnel post on your site. That should make sense, right? If all the links are pointing down, like pretty much at the bottom of the, you know, the river, so to speak. I mean, and intuitively, Google will understand that pages with more links are more important right? This is the same as a competitor having more backlinks than you, right? It has more links to their site than your site. And so Google's like, well, this one's clearly better. Let's rank it higher. Of course, there are exceptions to that rule if you build bad links or whatever. This is essentially what you're doing with internal links though. I started this with the question, do you want more traffic or more money? If you build links in any direction without this framework, you might have a lot of traffic. You might not make any money. If you build links down the funnel, like I've just explained, or, and laterally, which I'll get to, you will make more money. This is actually a real SOP we use in our agency, right? I've copied it out of Google Doc onto this, word for word, okay? This is the internal link building commandments we have at our agency for all the brands we work with. The ideology, which is down the funnel, not up the funnel, is the overarching umbrella framework, whatever you wanna call it, that I want you to keep in mind as you build out your site or update your site, okay? But these 12 commandments really capture the nuances of it. Build internal links from blog posts to collection pages and product pages, but never in reverse from collections to blog posts or products to blog posts. Second, the very first internal link in every single blog post needs to point at the focus collection page in that cluster or product page in that cluster. There should be zero exception to this rule, okay? This is so simple. You're writing the blog content. You obviously can place the internal link where you want it. I usually aim to place it in the first 100 to 200 words above the first H2, okay? This is generally the intro paragraph usually near the bottom of the intro paragraph. Again, this is the most valuable link on that page, okay? If you if you put a bunch of other links on the page and your money link is at the bottom, it's the fifth or sixth most valuable link on the page, which is, again, not how you make money. That should be the most valuable. After the first money link, try to include at least three to five other relevant links to blogs in your site using descriptive anchors, again, ideally within the same cluster. These internal links move customers laterally within the funnel, more or less, right? This is totally fine. You can move a customer laterally, just not a... Also, if you have any backlinks pointing towards these blogs, and this goes for any page and any backlink on your site, internal links help distribute the value of that link to other blogs, helping them rank higher. Backlink comes in, pretty much hits a landing point, landing page or a touch point, and then the internal link essentially flows the value through to whatever page it's targeting at. This one is kind of a small one that may not apply to you, but set up internal links to open up in the same tab 
don't open them in a different tab. Also make sure all of your internal links are do follow, otherwise none of, nothing what I just said is gonna matter at all. Again, this is the standard setup in most CMSs like Shopify and WooCommerce, but I've seen people accidentally change these settings, best to double check. Now, if you're building links to external pages, like another website, for example, that should open in a new tab. We talked about building links laterally within blog posts. You can also build them laterally within, within collections, as long as you use descriptive anchors and you do it right. I've actually got more info on this in my collection optimization video, so check that out. Just released it a couple weeks ago. But these internal links actually move customers laterally within the funnel, and you could argue if used correctly, they actually move them further down the funnel, which you're already near the bottom. But here's a good example. So let's say you have a top level and a sub level collection. So let's say collagen supplements is your top level collection, but you know, collagen serves a ton of purposes, right? Skin, hair, bones, all these things. But let's say you've got a sub collection that's called hair loss collagen supplements for women. Super specific. This sub collection is more specific and has a higher chance of converting the customer than the top level collection. So though it's technically a lateral in the funnel stage from an, an internal link from collagen supplements to hair loss collagen supplements for women, you've arguably moved them closer to purchase. Now, if like, a, a woman seeking hair loss collagen supplements see lands on the top level page but then she just wants to see the collection literally made for her like she's gonna probably convert and not probably she'll convert at a much higher rate hard to say definitively so right it's pretty much like adding a filter but you're like leveraging another collection page and that collection page the sub level collection page can also rank independently on its own right which is ideal this does not go for product pages my firm belief and i think anyone will probably agree with me on this you should not let if once someone gets to the product page like leave them there don't link to a similar product unless you're trying to upsell them or like see related products now anchors use anchors that accurately and succinctly describe the target page if you're linking to a product or collection from a blog post or from another collection i would aim for two to four words max probably on the shorter end truthfully like two to three if you're linking to blogs anything between three to seven words is usually fine you want to make it look natural you know for like the one i just the college supplement example like you can use the benefits of college and supplements for an anchor maybe the next time it's the bene benefits or the hair benefits of collagen supplements. Just vary it up. Don't overuse the same anchor for a particular page. Like I said, don't use benefits of collagen supplements 20 times. You can use it more than once, but you'll rank higher and for more keywords if you diversify that anchor text, right? You could be more aggressive with internal links than anchors than backlink anchors without getting penalized because it's on your site, essentially. Quick tip, if like you're kind of worried about anchors, just create a list of five to 10 anchors that you can use for any particular page and then cycle through them as you build content. We have style guides we create for every single brand we work with and we do the same thing just for simplicity's sake. Basically, like you could do this with ChatGPT. Just say, hey, here's my target keyword. Can you give me 10 keyword variants that are close in nature to it. It'll give you that and you can copy and paste it into your internal document or whatever you have, okay? Pretty straightforward, makes it easy. And it takes literally a minute to set up or less. Don't use branded anchors when building internal links. It is a waste of words for you and your users. They are on your site. They know, you don't need to reiterate that. You're building backlinks, different story. Branded anchors are really good for entity building. Most of your backlinks will likely point to your homepage and blog post as they should. You can also build them to your collection pages. Um, I would probably say of those three though, collection pages should probably be at the bottom for volume of links. But again, the primary function of internal links is to transfer the value around your site, specifically to money pages, right? So if you've got a really important money page, it should have a link from the homepage and all of your top traffic blog posts, assuming it's within the same cluster, okay? Like that is how internal links function. Internal links between a blog and a blog are meant to give users more info and connect the cluster dots for Google. Internal links between a blog and a money page, on the other hand, are meant to show customers in Google that these pages, these as in collection or the money pages, the collections or products, are the most important. Okay. Internal links from money pages to blogs, which is up the funnel, should not exist. Okay. I cannot stress that enough. If you want to increase traffic to a certain page on your site, build an internal link to that page from two to three of your highest traffic pages. The pages with the most traffic pass the most value, far more than an internal link with a page or traffic volume of like zero visits a month. This also goes if you have a few pages that are really well linked to, like a blog post that like really went off and it's got 10 or 12 organic backlinks. That is also a good sign that you should link from that page to your other important pages. Last thing, do not link to the same target page for more, more than once from a singular source page. Um, if you try and add an internal link from one blog post, like on one blog post, if you had an internal link to the same collections five times, the first one is the only one you need. The other four are probably getting ignored. And truthfully, it's going to look terrible from a user experience perspective. So just once and make it the first one for a money page. If you want to learn the exact strategies we use to grow our Shopify brands from 43 to 72,000 organic revenue a month, 12 to 30K, actually now 50K at the time of recording this, and 3,000 to 315,000 not a typo, organic search revenue per month, go watch all these videos. I have case studies on all of them. Right, and we use the same internal link we use here. And if you wanna have a quick chat with me to discuss SEO for your brand, click the link in the description, peace.